So I do want you to contextualize this video that has been circulating on the internet of you talking about the lover boy method. So we'll take a look at that right now. Sure. You cannot get a girl to work for you having fun. So the recruitment process is the same as the PhD course. You message them on Instagram. The PhD course is my recruitment system. I don't mention webcam until after I've had sex with the girl. If you're on dates and you're trying to mention it and shit, it just doesn't work. It puts them off. I'd never do that. That's disgusting. I'm not a whore. Uh, it's just not going to work. You continue as normal. No mention of webcam. You f*** the girl. After you f*** the girl, you do the PhD test. If she passes the PhD test and she wants to be with you, then you start mentioning things like, yeah, but you know, you're always busy. You're always at work. You can come work for me. Okay, so first question, when was this video taken? Yeah, so this video is from 10 years ago, and this is me explaining how having a webcam company, it's actually a larger video as a whole. I'm explaining how having a webcam company can affect your relationships and how it affects your dating life. It also explains the fact that one of the girls I was dating at the time was working on webcam at mm -hmm. the time. And it's explaining my general overall explains my life and how things are affected owning a pornography company, because obviously a lot of women will be put off by that. It doesn't explain, it doesn't say, I'd be very careful how I answer this question because I'm currently under an investigation, right? Mm -hmm. So I'd be very careful how I answer it. People are trying to chop it up and say that it says I am using uh, the lover boy method to somehow convince women to do things they didn't want to do. This is obviously not the case, and none of this is in the case file for a reason because it doesn't exist and none of these women are upset. But this is simply me explaining, it's actually a dating course I made a long time ago, and I'm a little bit embarrassed about it, to be honest with you, because it was 10 years ago, and I was talking about women and dating and things in a way that I wouldn't talk about them anymore. Right. So, yeah, and you look very young in the video. I'm super young, and I'm talking about, hey, when you sleep with this girl, or you meet that girl, or you meet this girl on Instagram, and I have a webcam company, I don't tell them I have a webcam company, and I just think all oh, that's kind of crass, and it's below me, yeah. and I don't really like talking about it. And it's amazing how things change as you mature and you get older. But once again, I was a much younger man. I think if you were to take any 24-year-old and look at the stuff he puts on the internet, some of it's going to be stupid. And I think if you look at anybody who made things 10 years ago, some of it's going to be stupid. It's absolutely not really not criminal in any regard. There's right. nothing criminal about it. It has no bearing or any interest in the current case. But yeah, I was talking about how I talk. I don't mention I have a webcam business. The basic premise of the video was me explaining that I don't mention I have a webcam business ever and that I'm Mr. Rich and I have this nice car and I go on dates with girls. And sometimes when I say I have a webcam business, some of them want money and they want to work for me. That's the basic premise of it. Right. I, I'm glad to hear that you're not proud of the video. And I think that that's one of those things where I yeah. say that people don't allow you to grow up from things that you've done or said in the past. And this is obviously when you were operating a webcam business you're Completely. talking about. And, and, and that's the whole thing about the human experience. We're supposed to grow, right? And we're supposed to make mistakes and we're supposed to learn from them and we're supposed to... Uh, evolve as people. And I'm certainly not proud of the video. When I say I'm not sorry for what I've done, I don't mean it in a, I would do the same things again. I don't mean it that way. I mean that at the time I was a lot less knowledgeable and I was younger and I made some mistakes. And just like I'm sure Jay-Z would never crack, sell crack again. Right. Exactly the same reason I would never make a stupid video saying something so stupid again. I also could have never predicted the fact that I was going to become one of the most famous people on the planet. Right. I didn't see that coming. And if I did, I would have been a lot more careful with what I said and how I said it. And I do think that it's part of every person's journey to make some mistakes and learn from them and grow from them. And I kind of find it interesting that if I was a reformed drug addict, there'd be no problem. If I was a reformed murderer, there'd be no problem. If I was a mafia boss and I'd sit here and I'd kill three people and we were doing an interview and I was like, yeah, I used to kill people. I've done my time. I'm out of jail now. I get less flack than if I made a video talking about dating when I used to have a business that did webcam than I currently get, you know? So all I can do is understand that I was a younger man. I did the best I could at the time. And, uh, I was trying my very best to survive in a very harsh world. And I, I, I understand now that a lot of the way I said things, I certainly shouldn't have said them that way, but none of it is criminal. Right. And, it, and it... I don't hear any accountability in here. What up, man? Hey, um, do me a favor, please. And please subscribe to my Rumble account. And link for it in the description box. If you know, you know. But uh, YouTube has made it very difficult for your boy to do anything. A lot of y'all should know about Rumble. You can do whatever you want and say whatever you want. You ain't worry about nothing over there. It's real. So, you know, I need y'all to, you know, mess with me over there. <laughs> Bruh, your boy's hands are tied. You know what I mean? But, uh, yeah, we ain't going nowhere. So, I ain't going to stop, bro. Just make minor adjustments. Keep it pushing. Dog, we built for it. But, um, yeah, love y'all. Night talk. Night nation. Back to your regularly scheduled program. <laughs>
I hear him coming up with reasons and excuses for why he did what he did. And I also hear him trying to minimize what he actually said in the video. Like, he never really addressed anything specifically he said in that particular video. He was, like, beating around the bush, right? In that video, he literally says, well, you heard what he says, you know what I'm saying? You got to you gotta fuck the girls first. You got to have sex with the girls first, bro. In the court of public opinion, man, that's probably one of the worst things you could say. And to minimize it, saying that you were talking about this, that, and the third, no, like, we, we, you need, we need to hold ourselves accountable, right? Especially, especially considering it's Andrew Tate, red pill king, masculinity king, bring manhood back king, you know, loyal, integrity, honor, accountability. It would have been so much better if you said, yeah, that was a terrible fucking thing to say. I shouldn't have damn said it. I apologize. And and I, I mean, he did say he was young, but that's kind of like excusing the fact of what you said just because you were young. And he tried to relate it to, you know, other people who do terrible things as far as like, you know, a reformed murderer or a drug dealer or things of that nature. Like, granted, but if you had a, I'm, I guarantee you, if you had a reformed murderer here, he would apologize for the things he did in the past. Right. And we can't sit here and uh, compare selling drugs to pimping women you know what i'm saying it's just i mean it's it's emotional abuse if you are going to operate that way with a woman but he definitely he, he backpedaled man like he tried to minimize what was actually said and this is a lot of the reason why people have issue with tate for these particular videos he makes right I, like for me personally man i could care less about the damn case and it doesn't even it doesn't concern me that these particular tapes have nothing to do with the actual investigation. It's the fact that it was said, and granted, you said it when you were young, but considering who you are, what you stand for, what you speak about, it would it would have it would have done so much more good for you if you just owned up to it instead of saying I was young. I wish I hadn't said it that way. I could have said things better. Like how else would you have said what you said? How else could you have said? I had, you have to have sex with women in order to, in order for them to be a cam girl. You got to fuck them first. How how else could that have been said? Because all of it proves this little lover boy method that none of none of none, none of what you said takes away the impact of what you said. You got to own up to it, man. You got to own up to it. And typically, he addresses everything head on, gets to gets to the to the to the bones of it, whatever issue it is, addresses it head on. But for this one, he's kind of like beating around a bush you know what i'm saying so um yeah that was just unfortunate to see that bro like i'm and even with candace candace is not you no know, pushing the point either bro like come on man you 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 saw what you said you understand why people will have issue with it and you know even get, regardless of the fact of you being as famous and as polarizing as you are it doesn't matter what level of fame you have if anybody had a video like that of them circulating around with any tidbit of fame is going to get found out and they're and they're going to hold you accountable. So it's a cop out to say it's only because I'm famous that this is an issue or it's only because I'm the most Google man in the world that this is an issue. No, that's cat, man. That, that, that would be an issue for whomever, wherever, however, bro. Like how often do you come across a video of somebody saying something like that? Especially considering like who the, what they represent, who they are, right? Um, yeah, so I, I don't know. I didn't think that was a very uh, manly response to what you did, bro. <laughs> she just said, "I'm sorry. I apologize. That shit was fucked up, right?" Candace should have made him elaborate on what you said, particularly in that video. I don't want to hear anything about dating dynamics and and uh, the 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 sex cam work. I want to know what you meant in that video exactly when you said you have to fuck the girls first. What does that mean, All right? But then, but but then it's like I don't want to talk about it anymore. I'm 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 embarrassed to I'm embarrassed to talk about it. It's beneath me. No, nah, bro, you said it right. And considering who you are and what you represent, you should address it now. Especially, especially considering that this is a, the meat and potatoes of why people have an issue with you, bro. Well, I wouldn't even say the meat and potatoes, bro, because a lot of people, there's a lot of different things that people dislike about Tate at this point, right? 
Like, I'm pretty much over the whole Tate train, bro. Like, it is what it is at this point. Like, I, I definitely agree that the Matrix is after him, but I, I definitely agree that he's done and said some fucked up things, bro. Two things can occur at the same time, right? And, uh, like, regardless, regardless, of that inf- and regardless of that investigation was going on or not, those videos will still exist. And... It would not look favorable for Tate. It would make it would make him look like a hypocrite. So you have to address him. You can't just say I was young and I was dumb and I said stupid shit. At least apologize for it. But nah, nah, I'm not gonna apologize for it. You know, given the circumstances, you know, Jay Z sold dope. I said that I had to do what I had to do given, given that situation. Come on, man. Come on, man.